wait till you see that. They're like a ray of sunshine. There is something I have to do. What? Don't you love when your spouse does that? Sprouts, because yeah, Sprouts over there. Across the street. No, yes I am. No, you're not. Yes I am. So we got Sprouts from Sprouts. They smell like <laughs> farts. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to a new vlog. Today Larry and I are gonna be busy bees and we are gonna bring you guys along for a very busy bee day because we have lots, to, lots of stops to make along the way. It's a beautiful day in Florida, it's sunny, it's gonna be 80 degrees, so let's spend the day outside and running errands basically. Before we get started with today's video, today's video is sponsored by Saludos. So Saludos, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Guys, these shoes, they are a shoe company based out of New York. Work. They're incredible. They're soft. They're cushy. They offer vegan shoes as well, which is really, really nice. Their shoelaces are made of recycled plastic bottles. So they're eco-friendly, which is amazing. So I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to be wearing the one pair today because they're so cute and it goes with my tie-dye kind of look. So this is what they look like. I will have a link down below for you guys to use. If you would like to get these shoes, you can get $15 off and free shipping for your first order. So let's take a peek at these shoes okay these are called the rainbow wave sneakers which are the ones that i am wearing today wait till you see that they're like a ray of sunshine seriously Just, look at them how cute are these here's the back vibes loving that and look at that sunshine okay can we just talk about that here's what they look like in the bottom here's what they look like on the inside i'm in a size seven and a half they have a really nice sizing guide as well so that's pair number one and pair number two i'm also very excited about they are a nude colored shoe look and they're like that rubber kind of material so it'll wipe off and clean very easily this is the ibiza classic lace up but first Hey, <laughs> these shoes are the happiest thing ever. Oh my gosh, they're so stinking cute though. Do you love them, babe? Wow, you can really dance. You like them, they're so freaking cute. They're really comfy too. I like those. I'm very happy with them. So if you guys would like these super cozy sneakers, I will have my link directly below, which again will get you free shipping and $15 off. Now, Larry, we are gonna have a fun day. I've got my list. Oh my gosh. I wanted to price some groceries. I did a comparison between shopping at Publix for produce and shopping at Sprouts for, for produce. There was a huge difference. <laughs> Sprouts is more affordable than Publix when it comes to their produce. So Larry and I have made the decision that we are gonna go grocery shopping at the farmer's market of Sprouts today. I'm very excited. It's a little bit more of a drive for us, which is usually why we just do Publix. But we're going to Sprout today. But first, I think we're going to stop and get lunch because we're both pretty hungry. Are you hungry? Starving. I'm hungry. So there's like a Chipotle and a Chick-fil-A Chick -fil right next to Sprout. So that's what we're going to get. What you doing, babe? Oh, some weeds. <laughs> He's weeding. Whoa! A little bit toasty in here today. Seat's really far back. Larry drove last. Actually, Larry's been driving like the last week because I was not well, thanks to that lovely migraine, which I'm, I'm feeling much better now. Um, but yeah, cool. There's been a slight change of plans. We were originally gonna get food first and go to Sprouts and do grocery shopping first, but we have so many other stops to do that it just wouldn't make sense to have groceries sitting in the car when it's 80 degrees and the car is much warmer. So we don't want groceries sitting and melting and spoiling. We're gonna put a cooler in the back, but We'll just do all the other stuff first, then sprouts, then home. I'm excited to show you guys what we get because it's gonna be one of those days that's the full on grocery, a food haul. Food hauls are my favorite. Welcome to the car, babe. Oh, yeah, What'd you forget? There is something I have to do. What? Don't you love when your spouse does that? <laughs> and they're like, oh crap, there is something I need to do. I forgot. And you're like, what, what is it, what is it? And then they give you the finger and they walk away. Not the finger, but like the hold on finger. Oh, does he need keys to the house? I am hot. You need the keys? Yeah. Ow, oh, hot. Even the thingy is hot. All right, I'll stay here with the windows open. Okay. Yay! So, since we have time to chat, guys, how you doing? What's new? 
Uh, what's new with me? Let's see. So you guys saw the Q&A, which I haven't even edited yet because I'm filming that in the same day as I filmed this. We've already filmed it. So that's already up. So if you guys haven't seen our most recent Q&A, which is we go over a lot of stuff in there, um, it'll be down below or at the end of this video. My skin as of lately, and I'm sure you can't really tell in the video because I've done quite a good job of covering it up, but my skin is not happy. And I was using this benzoyl peroxide face wash that was recommended by my dermatologist. Mm -mm. I cannot use acne skincare products that have benzoyl peroxide in it. I know it takes time to like build up, but man, my face is mad. It's peeling, it's sensitive, it's just not happy today. Anyways, let me know how you guys are doing. Uh, I was just, I had the longest FaceTime chat with my best friend Angela and she was telling me how like the daffodils are popping up up north. So that's super exciting for you guys. Hopefully if you're in a cold climate, it's finally getting warm or it's trying to. I know it makes such a huge difference in like how you feel too. Like literally when we lived in Cleveland, Ohio, it was so gray and so gloomy all the time. And then living in Florida, it's like, it's like sunny all the time. So <laughs> It's nice. But anyway, we're going to send some Florida sunshine to you guys to match my very happy shoes, which I am very happy about. I'm telling you, shoes make a difference in a mood. Same with hair, same with like makeup, same with like just getting dressed for the day. Oh God, it's hot today. Anyways, I'm gonna hop off here because I'm just gonna start rambling. <laughs> Babe, what'd you forget? The bill for the, ma the mailbox. Oh, the bill for the mailbox. Well, that wasn't very exciting, <laughs> but important. Okay, let's hit the road, guys. Okay, I'm back in the car. Larry and I split up to hopefully make the tasks a little bit quicker. So I popped into PetSmart, I got the girls their food, and Larry is in Best Buy looking for something or another. I think something to transfer something to some, oh, I don't know guys, <laughs> something. Um, what was I gonna say? I was gonna tell you guys something. Oh, and we've also stopped at the P.O. Box. So P.O. Box, check, PetSmart, check, Best Buy, almost check once Larry's in the car. And then it will be heading off to get food because we are hungry, P.O. Box. There was quite a few things in there, so I want to thank you guys so much for sending letters and everything else like that. Larry's back. That timing was good. Yes, yes. I just got in the car like two minutes ago or less. Oh, I just sanitized. Here's your sanity. Thank you for that. Um. So yes, I'll be writing letters back to those who sent stuff in the P.O. box. So thank you. And what'd you get, babe? I was telling him you were getting something or something to transfer something and something. It is just an external DVD drive. Okay. Looks pretty. Chick-fil-A <laughs> was insane. The line was double wrapped around the building and then into the street. So we decided to go into a steak and shake and set. We've decided to go with steak and shake instead for Larry. And then we're gonna hop de doo across the street, get chip chip filet, chick-fil-a, eat in the car, and then go into sprouts because yeah, sprouts over there. Across the street. No, yes I am. No, you're not. Yes I am. You're oh chipotle. chipotle. Oh send help. I can't. I need to eat. That's that's where we're at right now. So it's 83 degrees in Florida right now. So anyways, steak and shake and chipotle it is. What are you gonna get? Mmm I think I'll get a double with cheese, some onion rings, some fries. Yeah. And a bottle of water. Probably water. Yeah, water. And then I'm gonna get from Chipotle, I'm gonna get romaine lettuce at the bottom, a little bit of brown rice, chicken, extra fajita, black beans, guac. I'm gonna skip out on the cheese and the sour cream. <laughs> yep. Mm. Yep. Larry's got his food. It smells so good. If you guys could smell it through the camera, I wish you could. It smells so good. And he's being so sweet. He's like, it smells better than it tastes. I said, you're lying. He said, mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> Show them what you do with your burger. How you put the onion rings on it. Make your own little, right. oh my God, huh? Onion rings. I've got my bowl. I've also realized I'm a homebody and this is probably why we don't come to Sprouts because it's far for us. And there's a lot of traffic and everything around us is like very populated, I would say. It just seems like everybody is out and about right now, which is good. And people seem to be very stressed today for some reason. Yes, it's just it's just been one of those days where I'm like, you know, 
Anyways, we've got our bowl. I did it. I didn't get the sour cream and the cheese. Found out that that's like 110 calories each, which I'm not cal calorie counting. I'm just trying to watch. I'm just trying to be healthy. So we made healthy choice, but I did get a nice heaping pile of guac that's stuck. Ooh. Okay, dangerous. So I did get lettuce as my base, but I don't get the lettuce in the front that has like the spinach and like those kind of things. I get the romaine, like the topper that makes the world a difference. So you start off with the romaine as your base, not the salad as your base. I lost the light for salad. Mm -hmm. How's yours? Good. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We've made it to the Sprouts parking lot as well, so I'm gonna eat this and we'll go shopping. sprouts first I've laid out everything on the counter so we're just gonna go for it everything that we got there was pretty much produce a couple of spices and some healthier spaghetti option noodles for Larry or it's just spaghetti um <laughs> I call them noodles anyway so pasta pasta so first of all we spent our grand total for all the fresh produce that we got at sprouts Plus this big pack of chicken and a pack of salmon was a hundred dollars, which pretty darn good. Um, okay, so we're just gonna start. I got the humongous thing of spinach. This is the organic spinach. Next, I got two lemons. We got four organic sweet potatoes. These I'm super excited about. They had the regular carrots, but then I saw the rainbow carrots, which are yellow, orange, reddish colored, and then purple. Uh, my plans for these are going to be a one sheet pan roast. I think I'm going to make that for dinner tonight with the chicken, these carrots, and a couple of other, other items, which I'll show you guys in a second. I'm not going to film that roast tonight because I want to make sure it's good and I perfect it and I know what I'm doing before I <laughs> kind of like share it with you guys. So we'll see. That's going to be the thing tonight. This was $9 and I think it was nine, $9.18 and there's a lot of chicken in here. So it's like, <laughs> Larry, you're funny. He's doing like the margarita, like shaking of his Propel beverage. We'll get into that in a minute. Um, but this is boneless, skinless chicken breast, no hormones or steroids, no animal byproducts, fed all vegetarian diet, no antibiotics ever. So picked up that. I'm going to pop that in the fridge now since, you know, it's been in the car for a bit. The other thing that I picked up was these Atlantic salmon fillets. So the skin is on, which I like. The last packet of salmon fillets I picked up didn't have the skin on. I don't eat the skin, but I like to cook with the skin. An all natural antibiotic free five to six pieces. And this was like $21. So that's amazing. What would, you, would it, was it three per fish? $4. $4 per fish or something like that. So you can go to a restaurant and get a salmon dinner and spend like 22 bucks. And this was like 20, 21 something dollars. $24. $24? Yeah. Okay. So good deal on that. So going to pop those in the freezer. Okay. Next, moving on. We got one cucumber. We've got celery, uh, cilantro, fresh, yummy cilantro. Got lots of avocados. I got one that's ready to go. Um, I usually eat half an avocado a day if I'm having avocado toast and then I got four that are dark green and hard as rocks because avocados ripen very very quickly and if you don't want to run to the store every three days for avocados I suggest getting some that are rock hard because they'll turn quick on you. This was so cute look at those sprouts. So we got sprouts from sprouts. They smell like farts <laughs> to be honest. Anyways this is going to go on our one sheet pan with our chicken as well. And then we've got bananas, which almost hit me in the face. 
So this is a healthier option for spaghetti. It's made with corn, brown rice, and quinoa by Ancient Harvest. So we're gonna try this. It is a little light, I'm not gonna lie. Like there's not much in here. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. We have green peppers, two of those. And then I caved, I got this. Oh my gosh, look at this. So it's, I love sushi. This is the Spicy California Spring Wrap. And I thought it was gonna be lower in carb. I don't know how lower in carb it is, but there's 49 grams of carbs total for this. So I'm still kind of high in carbs. But anyways, I got it. I'm excited to try it. I love fresh sushi and fresh spring rolls. So delicious. So I'm gonna give that a try. Green tea. I've started drinking my green tea again. It's been a while, so I got a new pack of that. I've got a little tiny baby cabbage, which is like 50 pounds. <laughs> Just kidding, he's gonna have you though. We got these tomatoes. They're the Wild Wonders Gourmet Medley tomatoes. Two packs of strawberries, which have you ever gone to a field to pick your own strawberries? If you have and you smell like that group of fresh berries, that is what this smells like. It smells so good. So got two packs of those. They looked really nice. And then my favorite sauce, or one of them, I love the Cholula, Cholu, yeah, Cholula hot sauce, but this is the green pepper. This is so good on tacos. And then I love my traditional Frank's Red Hot, but I love Cholula. Next, we've got paprika, because almost every chicken recipe calls for paprika on your chicken, and I didn't have it, and I wanna use it for my one sheet pan oven baked chicken recipe. And then I also got nutmeg because there's a couple of sheet pan veggie roasts that call for nutmeg with the sweet potato so i wanted to give that a try actually fun fact about nutmeg is if you overdose on nutmeg or use like more than a certain amount like you can hallucinate and stuff like that i learned that actually at my fertility clinic the guy that does the blood there he always puts like a fun fact up on the board and this can cause some some serious side effects if you have too much of it thought that was interesting Next, we got a little baby tomato, tom tomatoes, potatoes for Larry. So that's everything that I got from Sprouts. So let me hurry up, put this away, and then I'll show you guys what we picked up from Publix. A quick little tip that I learned from my dad when you get fresh produce or like, what are, what are these called? Herbs. <laughs> you stick like a little mason jar. You can cut this. I should be taking off that twisty tie. Let me do that. Anyways, you put them in a vase in your fridge with some water and change out the water every few days and your produce will perk up. The first time I did this, the next day they looked dead and sad and then all of a sudden they drunk up the water, or drank the water and they looked healthy and vibrant and it lasted in my fridge for two weeks. So that's my little tip learned from dad. I've now got everything on the counter from Publix which is a combination of Larry and a couple things for me and then I'm gonna have Larry explain a Propel situation that has occurred and he can tell you how it is. You guys know Propel is Larry's favorite go-to beverage and there was no Propel bottles in Larry's flavor. He likes the grape or the peach, they didn't have either. So we found these packets, so you dump the whole packet. I was, I've was i tried these a long time ago and I was gonna tell Larry to only use half the packet or try half, but he said, what'd you say about them? It's, it's pretty close to one whole packet is pretty close to what you would get in a regular bottle of Propel. Yeah, yeah, so he survived. So you've got, that's a zero calories per packet and I think you get 10. So that's exciting. And then I also picked up this creamer. I'm excited to try it. I've been using the unsweetened vanilla oat milk. It just doesn't do it for me in my coffee if it's hot. If my coffee's hot, I pretty much like to have it a little bit sweet and kind of creamy. If it's iced coffee or cold coffee, I can have it black. Battery's dying, let me go change that. <laughs> All on. Okay, we're back with a fresh battery. So anyways, I picked up this oat milk creamer which has four grams of sugar per tablespoon. This is a new purchase for me, I've never tried it. So this is a balsamic glaze. I've seen lots of people like drizzle this over their vegetables, over their avocado toast, and I'm like, I love some balsamic vinegar. The glaze is obviously thicker, it's gonna be a lot different than balsamic, so don't, don't just run your balsamic vinegar over your stuff. The glaze is supposed to be different. I haven't tried it yet, but I'll try it in a vlog with you guys soon, like the next coming vlog. We have no salt added tomato sauce for Larry's spaghetti and chili. We have taco seasoning for myself. This is a 30% less sodium. Garbanzo or uh, chickpeas, the low sodium or reduced sodium. Larry's mashed potatoes. You guys already know, Larry's favorite hot dogs are the Oscar Mayer Bun Length Angus Beef Hot Dogs. We have no antibiotics ever. Deli Ham by Oscar Mayer. 
ground turkey. I love me some ground turkey with my tacos. I'm trying to eat the ground turkey instead of like the ground beef. We have chocolate ice cream and mint chocolate chip ice cream. Croissants for Larry's breakfast sandwiches. Larry's pop-em chicken balls. And these are the best pickles ever. They're the Kosher Dill by Greenwise. This is the Publix brand. Kraft Singles for Larry's breakfast sandwiches. Oh, onion powder. That's another thing that goes on chicken. I'm not familiar with this brand. I've seen it. It's a gluten-free onion powder. Um, anyways, it goes on a lot of things. I don't have it, so I got it. Ah, look what I found! My Celsius water. So I found it in a four pack. I think it was like seven bucks, and usually they're two for four. Dollar. <laughs> uh, this is the no sugar, no preservatives, Celsius Live Fit Water Peach Mango Green Tea Non Carbonated. Healthy energy accelerates metabolism and burns body fat. So, got some of those. I love that you guys are tagging me in them too in your Instagram stories. There's a couple of flavors that you guys have at your stores that I don't have at mine or they haven't come out yet. So, I'm really excited to see some of them arrive. We have our Sensitive Skin Dove Fragrance-Free Hypoallergenic Beauty Bar. And then we have the Tyson 100% All Natural Crispy Chicken. These are good in the oven, they're definitely really good. We have egg noodles to add to soups. And then we have Larry's Hot Dog Buns. So that is everything, that is a massive grocery haul. So we're definitely good for a little while, hopefully. And I think I'm gonna end this video here. At dinner time, I'll be making that sheet pan, chicken, blah, blah, blah. So, hopefully I'll be able to let you guys know how it went in the comment section. And I'll be able to share it in an upcoming vlog very soon. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you would like to. And we will see you guys again very soon. Bye!